If you'd like to know how to import contacts into MailChimp, you're in the right place. My name is Larry McGuire from ChimpTutorials.com and I'm going to give you a full tutorial, full breakdown, step by step, how to create an audience in MailChimp for the first time and import your contacts. Uh, before we proceed though, I'd like you to subscribe to get all future tutorials here on YouTube. And additionally, I have a full step-by-step, uh, item-by-item -item article written on this process. If you'd like to check it out over on chimptutorials.com, there's a link in the description. So to kick it off, first of all, you'll want to log into MailChimp, assuming you have an account set up already. Once you do, choose the account. I'm going to select this demo account that I use. You see here that there's no audiences in uh, in MailChimp. We click on the audience button here on the left hand side. Incidentally, MailChimp has rearranged the whole menu structure for the better. Uh, prior to recently, um, the menus were kind of all over the place, but it's a lot more intuitive now. Uh, and you'll find them on the left hand side, as you can see here in the screen. So we have no audience set up in this account. So the first thing we need to do is click create audience. And we're going to give it a name, my newsletter. Let's you can call it something else, whatever is applicable to your business. Uh, default from address, whatever the email address is, you want uh, the email to come from. Default from name. You just you can choose whatever you like here. Um, campaign URLs. It's a little bit complicated. Uh, it's not for this tutorial. You can find another tutorial on this, but essentially a custom domain um, can be set up in MailChimp. And when people receive your emails, they can recognize uh, from the URL where it comes from. It helps deliverability as well. So that's for another day. Uh, write a short reminder here as you're being prompted uh, about how people joined your list. Um, just keep it nice and friendly. Howdy. Etc. Etc. Okay. Uh, edit your address here. Add in um, the appropriate address for your business. Form settings. Enable double opt in. I'd advise that. GDPR. You decide if that's right for you. Uh, I don't do it uh, on all um, audiences. On some I do, on some I don't. Depends on the audience and what I have um, going out on a regular basis. If you if you're an advanced marketer and your marketing channels are varied, this would be a very good idea um, for perhaps um, a small solo operator who just sends out maybe a newsletter once a month, uh, non-salesy kind of stuff. Well, maybe you choose to leave this unticked. It's up to you, um, but don't break the rules. Uh, notifications here. I generally have these turned off because um, if there's a lot of people signing up to your list, you can get notifications uh, too often. So I leave these. When you're happy with all of these settings, click save. And in the next window, uh, you'll see you have an, opp an opportunity to add your CSV file. So um, just to reiterate, if you go to the written tutorial and go to step six, I have a bit of detail in here on how to modify your CSV file. Now, where are you getting that CSV file from? You could be moving from another email provider like ActiveCampaign or ConvertKit or some other platform, uh, in which case you'll download your contacts in a CSV file format. Um, what I would uh, uh, prompt you to uh, avoid is downloading contacts from LinkedIn or from Gmail and just adding them to your MailChimp list without their permission. It's not really cool. And you'll get a lot of uh, spam reports and people opting out. So it's to your disadvantage. And um, these people that you're adding should already be subscribers or should have already given you permission um, to add them to your list. So if you want to find out how to modify your CSV file, you can do that in this step-by-step uh, -step written tutorial in step six. There's a link in the description underneath this video. So back to our setup. 
Um, in this window, uh, in your audience here, you'll be prompted that you have no contacts. So click Import Contacts. And we're going to upload via CSV file here. You can copy and paste, but this is a, a lot quicker. Continue to upload. Click Browse to find the file that you've downloaded to your computer. Hopefully, yes, here's mine. So here's my CSV file. I'm going to add that in. Uh, you'll see that it has successfully found your file. Continue to organize. You'll choose subscribed here from this drop down. It's unlikely you'll choose anything else, to be quite honest with you. Um, so select subscribed. Uh, if you do have existing contacts, check this box. It will update those contacts with the new information that comes in. I generally select it anyway. And next we're going to tag uh, our contacts. Now tagging allows you to identify these contacts within a broader uh, audience, size audience. So you can choose from some of these that you've been prompted to select here, or you can add your own. You could, let's say, import OCT 2020, but you can add anything you like, customer, uh, whatever. So we'll choose this and continue to match. So in the matching um, columns area, what, what's going on here is MailChimp sees the columns in your CSV file, and it's asking you to match those columns with fields within MailChimp. So it finds the email address, it finds the first name and last name if you have those set, um, but there's some other ones that um, it doesn't necessarily identify or can't identify. So these will be highlighted in red, and what you can do here, or orange rather, what you can do here is match these to the columns within MailChimp, Click on the uh, little button at the top and then choose which column within MailChimp you want this data entered in. So this is opt-in time. So we'll choose opt-in time and confirm, uh, confirm IP. So let's see, uh, IP, opt-in confirm IP address. So select that. Some of these columns may be different for you. In the step-by-step -step written tutorial, I outline why you should keep it simple. So do check out that uh, written tutorial for more on that CSV. When you're happy with the information, click finalize. And just a little review here before you click import or final import. And then a voila, your contacts are in. Uh, and then you're prompted to start a campaign. So that's it. Your contacts are, are in your new audience within MailChimp. I hope this video was helpful. If you wish to find out more, about these tutorials and be notified when I have a new one for you. Click on uh, subscribe here, just down below the video and uh, get over to chimptutorials.com for more. And thank you for your time. Until next time, take it easy.